Hey guys, it's Dana and it's Tuesday. That means we're gonna talk all about money. And today I really wanna talk about why and how we stop living paycheck to paycheck and hopefully how you can too. So if you're living paycheck to paycheck, like a lot of Americans are, um, it can be really stressful. Jim and I were living paycheck to paycheck. I was living paycheck to paycheck even before I was married and it was horrible. It really made me feel uneasy. I felt insecure. I felt like I had no security at all. Like I didn't know when the other shoe was gonna drop, right? I didn't know if I was gonna lose my job. I was out of work for a while at certain points in my life and it was really scary. And it's not a place that I ever wanna go back to. But I started out 16 years old. It's when I got my very first credit card when I was 16. You know, everybody said, build your credit, build your credit. So when I was 16, I got my first credit card and um, I have had or had credit card balance all the way up, you know, for at least 20 years, I had credit cards, revolving credit card balances. And then when I graduated from college, you know, I did have college loans. When I graduated from college, I went out and purchased a brand new car, the only brand new car I've ever bought, and it was right after college, I went out and bought a brand new Subaru Forester. It had a sunroof, it had all the bells and whistles, it had like the upgraded, you know, seat material, you know, interior, everything, and a huge loan and payment to go along with it, because that's what people do, that's like the norm, right? But then I was completely living paycheck to paycheck because I was not making a lot of money when I graduated from college and it was the worst decision I could have made at that point in my life. You know, in 2011, we had twins. So when I was pregnant with the twins, that's when I first sort of started to wake up and I was thinking, you know, we have all this debt and we're having twins and we're gonna have to pay for diapers. And I was thinking all the things we're gonna have to pay for, but when you're living paycheck to paycheck, that is really scary, really, really scary. And so when I was pregnant with the twins, that's when I first said, you know, we gotta try to cut back our expenses. And that's when I started cloth diapering and uh, we started to use uh, unpaper towels. We stopped buying paper towels. We started using like your grandmother would, like washcloths as, you know, paper towels in the kitchen and everything. And so I tried to change up some things to start saving money so we could stop living paycheck to paycheck but we still kind of were living paycheck to paycheck. And then in 2013, I got a new job because we sort of had an income crisis. We were never really making enough money. So we were relying on debt at times to buy groceries and to pay our bills. And for a good number of years, at the end of the year, I would have a balance left over with our oil company and I have to you know, put on my credit card like $800 to pay off the oil company. So I was doing that. And so in 2013, I got a new job and I got like a $20,000 pay increase. And I was so excited, I was so happy. And it was around that time I started listening to Dave Ramsey. When I got this new job is when I started listening to the radio, to his show and sort of got hooked up with him. And then, I got pregnant again with her last child. And so that is sort of when the, I had to listen over and over again. Like, I guess I have a really hard head. So I had to keep listening and then it still wasn't fully sinking in that I, you have to live below your means, obviously to have money and to not live paycheck to paycheck. And you know, I'm learning now you have to eat less calories then you expend if you wanna lose weight. <laughs> Obviously, we know these things, but we don't always do them. We know them, but we don't do them. And you hear it said over and over again, just like you hear over and over again that eating fruits and vegetables are good for you, but most of us don't do that. But then to make a change, you have to make a change in your life and it's really painful to go against the grain, so to speak, of what everybody else is doing. And I, you know, I work in finance, I work in a corporate office and even people who have been trained, uh, who've gone to school for finance, they don't necessarily understand personal finance. So the norm is to borrow money, have a car payment. And so it's really hard to go against that and be different. So in 2014, we had our fourth baby. And then during that time, one of our boys was in the ER. And when he was sick, he we were at home and I was trying to decide you know, should I take him? It was on a weekend. I was trying to decide, should I take him to the ER, which was two minutes away from our house, or should I drive him to an urgent care center? 
the urgent care center was a $20 copay and the ER was a $100 copay. And so I drove him like 30 minutes to the urgent care center because I wanted to save on the copay. And I drove him there and it was closed. And uh, he was really sick, really, really sick. And so we, we walked through the door and they had just closed. And so I had to carry him back to the car and he was having trouble breathing and he was throwing up. And we were looking in the rear view mirror and just seeing him th throwing up. And I had to drive all the way back 30 minutes to get back to the, to the hospital. And we went to the ER and um, luckily he was okay. But that was my, I've just had it. I've had it with this and we're gonna change. We're going to change even if it's painful. I don't want to ever again have to make a decision like that where I risk my child's life to save $80 because we didn't have any money in savings. And you know, I was stressed out about money and I don't, I never wanted to do that again. So that was my moment where I said, we're gonna, we're gonna make a change and we're gonna stop living paycheck to paycheck. And so to, li to stop doing that, you have to sort of have a moment, right, where you decide this, that you're not gonna do this anymore, where you're gonna make a change. And then, so to begin that process, then you have to start by writing down, you have to know everything that you owe, right? What, who do you owe? What's all, everything out there, even when it's really scary, because to make a change, you have to face scary things and it's gonna hurt, so it's gonna be painful. Nobody really likes looking at what they owe. It really sucks, especially when you don't think you can maybe pay all the minimum payments even, but you have to know that's the first step. You have to write everything down so you know exactly what you owe. And obviously you have to stop, stop, accruing any more debt because that's just going to be more payments that you can't make and that is forcing you to live paycheck to paycheck. So write everything down and then make a true commitment to say that you are going to stop borrowing money. And then once you've written everything out, then you can see what you owe and then you can start by just making sure that you get current on your rent or your mortgage so that way you can have a place to live so that you don't end up on the street. If you have credit cards to pay, if you have other bills to pay, medical bills, whatever, leave those go till last. You just wanna make sure you get current on your home, your rent or your mortgage, and also your electricity, and also you know maybe your oil bills, you have heat in the house, you wanna get current on those things and try to do that month to month before you start going back and before you start paying for other things. Food too, you wanna make sure you're eating. So those are your priorities. You're gonna pay for your food and your house, your electricity and heat, all that stuff to make sure that you can live before you start paying credit cards. Just don't pay them. If you can't pay them, if you don't have enough money, you don't pay them first, you pay them last. So if you're in this position where you're living paycheck to paycheck and you have a lot of debt, then you might also wanna take some time to think about your career, think about where you're going in the future, think about do you also have an income crisis? Is that why you're just not making enough money? Try to think about your job or your career where you are planning it out and it's, you're not just wandering around. Just, you know, you're just, you know, cause I feel like for a while in my career, in my life, I've been a wanderer where I didn't really, just kind of was going with the flow. I didn't know what I was doing, didn't know where I was going. Just kind of like you're in your job, just wandering. So try really hard to think about where do you want to be working in 10 years or five years? What kind of job do you want to be doing? And is that job you're working in now going to get you there? Or that position you're in? Maybe you can move to a different position within the same company right? And then while you're trying to get there, you can try to earn extra income by extra jobs. You can, you know, I know a lot of people talk about driving for Uber or for del delivering pizzas. Maybe you can pick up extra babysitting. Maybe you can start um, a YouTube channel, even though I wouldn't recommend that as an income source. You don't make a lot of money off of it at all. But um, try to think about side things you can do to start picking up extra money to help you increase, you know, your household income so you can better pay your bills and to start paying off what you owe. You can start doing your own haircuts, maybe not for you, but Jim cuts his own hair. Well, he shaves his head, so he does that himself. I cut the boy's hair. Um, we bought a pair of clippers. Maybe you've seen that video of mine on my channel. Uh, the first time I ever did it, but I've been cutting their hair for years now with the clippers. The girls, we grew out their bangs so that we don't have to cut their bangs off them and just like I don't have bangs so that I cut my hair less often. We have we can go less frequently to, to the hairdresser to get our hair done. When we do go to the hairdresser, we go to like super cuts or those, you know, it's like seven, $10 for a haircut and um, it does the job, right? 
Obviously you can cloth diaper if you have babies. I've actually washed clothes in our bathtub before. So, um, you know, because our washer was broken and we hadn't yet saved up the money to uh, buy a new one. So I washed some stuff in the bathtub. Um, you can get really creative with certain things um, when you really want to. We've been buying our clothes secondhand for years now. Um, also, our couch is awful. <laughs> like it's old, it's old. And I have washed the couch covers so many times now and it helps keep the couch looking new, uh, keeps it clean. I just take off the covers and wash them. But if you don't need to go out and buy a brand new couch if you're living paycheck to paycheck, right? You can wait on that. It's something that, I mean, just try to clean it up. You know, buy some spot cleaner and try to clean it. So don't buy new furniture. I wanna do. Stop driving as often. We stop going to my mom's house as often. We stop visiting family as much just to save on gas and help save our cars so there's less wear and tear on the cars. So try to cut back on the amount you're driving. As you're going through this process, you sort of wanna learn how to say no. You're gonna to have to say no. I said no to Pollyanna's at work. I've said no to lunches. <laughs> you have a big curly head, you realize that? Cut your cable. If you haven't cut your cable, why haven't you? Why? <laughs> Does anybody really have cable anymore? So we cut our cable. We have a Roku that we picked up on Black Friday for like 30 bucks. And there's so much free content on there and it's been great, it's been fine. Like we don't get to see everything currently. Like I have to wait a week to catch up on The Bachelor. I have to see it a week later, but it's okay. I still get to see it. So cut your cable. And just also check all of your bills to see if you can get them lowered. Sometimes if you just call, they'll, they'll lower it. If you ask, or you can get a different deal, a different package, different bundle. But uh, you know, look at all of that. This goes back to the beginning of the video when I said to see what you're, you know, see what you actually are spending on everything. But look at your utility bills and see if you can get them lowered. Your phone bill, maybe you're using up too many, too much of your data. You're going over your data plan every month. Start tracking that and make sure you don't go over on your data plan because that's going to be adding to your bills, and you don't want to do that. You want your bills to go down, not up. Make gifts instead of buying them. Don't buy gifts for a lot of people. If you have to turn down going to certain events because you know they're gonna have to bring a gift, then just say no, it's for a short period of time until you can get caught up on things, till you can start paying off debt and stop living paycheck to paycheck. So this is not easy. None of it is easy, it's hard. But if you really wanna change in your life, you have to change things. You can't keep doing the same thing that you've been doing. And I know for me, I feel like I've had a lot of moments in my life where you know, God has sort of whispered in my ear that you know, what I was doing is not right. And then I feel like I kinda of had to keep getting hit and hit and punched in the face and then sort of really hit over the head with a sledgehammer. You know, like you don't wanna to get to that point. Hopefully you haven't gotten to that point where something really bad happens before you really get the message. Because I feel like this is a message. I know in the Bible, it does say everywhere that if you borrow money, you're a fool. If you, you know, you, you just, you don't want to do it. Okay, so it really does change something, I think, within you when you, when you start, stop living paycheck to paycheck. And uh, it's a good place to be. So I think it's worth it is what I'm saying. I think it's really worth it to go through the pain for a little while to get clear of this in your life and move forward onto something better, something more beautiful, more positive, less stressful. Uh, it'll make an impact all around, I think, you and for your family and everybody who interacts with you. You'll be able to help more people in the world. That's my story and the things that we did to stop living paycheck to paycheck, start building a savings account. If it's your first time here, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe every Tuesday. I do new video all about money and um, I'd love for you to join me in this journey of building wealth and being debt free. And uh, thank you to everybody who's been watching me over the years. Thank you so much. It does mean a lot. Okay, all right guys, I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye. Oh, and don't forget, if you have any other ideas of how to stop living paycheck to paycheck, please leave them down below in the comments so that everybody can read those and uh, we can sort of share ideas with each other. Okay, all right, bye. Trying to get out of debt, then most of your money, aside from your $1,000 savings account, is 
going towards paying off your debt. But then this is the part, if you're a Dave Ramsey follower like I am, that I get really confused on because I hear him talk on his radio show 